Hi everyone. Um, so I hope everybody's well and happy and safe and well and bit crazy crafting like buzzy busy bees. Um, I have come on. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, I've come on to do my next episode in my mood board. Mood board, my inspiration board. Um, as you saw the other day, I did this page which I love that flap and I haven't quite decided yet I think I like the mint crisp I do like that um, and I like the artisan's blue and the olive green they work well together hmm with a thing with that in mind um, and I like this idea of putting a watercolor like a little piece in the journal so my other piece I wanted to create today, I'm going to work on the, probably the third page, one, two, three, yeah, the third page in. Now, I have my paper bundle, uh, but I'm going to, like, cheat a little bit. Well, not say, say cheat. These are the pe pe pages that I cut down to make the booklet. They weren't that big, so I don't know whether I want to add some of that in and then i printed this out um i bought this off etsy of somebody and i can't remember but i used the other ephemeras for something else um so i wanted to use that because it really blends well with the blue um so that's my thoughts so because there's blue on the page i'm not going to use my blue ink i don't want like i say i don't in my last video i don't want to use too much of the vintage photo and make it quite dark so i might be between uh yeah the brain buff would quite well look work really well on the edges we'll see anyway anyway so i'm going to undo this i'm going to make sure we have glue on the system Yeah, we have glue and I'm just going to go get to it so my plan I kind of like the writing there my plan for this is to make something like a, like a collage so I sort of can plan it out in my journal but I don't want to um, cover up too much of this. So I'm going to have a look to see what I have in here. Um, I can't even remember what I put in myself. I did put that in, so I don't know whether I want to use them. Okay, where's my... Oh, my water's pretty good. I think I'm gonna cut this down so she just doesn't show her pink of her tail. Um, oh, that's just plain watercolor paper, and I do have some brown paper that is stuck to this tissue paper. Ah, wait there. Okay, lead. Ooh my camera's moved <laughs> I am back um, my phone went and it was my mama so I did an hour of crafting with her and then I made, Chris has just made me a cup of tea and I thought oh, I'll come back now and do where I was going to go <laughs> so I've stripped this I've put everything that all my little paper bits in this little folder um, it was only the paper from the multimedia paper that I used the other day. I've just and I find these. I don't know whether I want to add them to it. Um, the piece I was ripping up that I was having much fun was this piece. Now that actually fits perfectly without me doing anything. That fits there. So if I'm going to put that there. I don't want to put the same paper here so I want to see I've got the I just want to like a real thin strip and yeah that looks 
looks nice I do it on the right inside yep I like that but I'm just gonna rip to make this piece a bit thinner Sorry, I don't know that I apologize in advance I'm gonna rip that piece so it's a little bit thinner and it goes but there See, I'm seeing a little bit of blue underneath. I'm going to bring you down a bit so you guys get to see what I'm doing. And keeping that in mind, I'm just going to pop the inks there. Keeping that in mind there, I did rip, before the foam went, I did rip this section. And I sort of like the idea of overlaying it. But I'm not liking it that dark this is what I'm trying to stay away from I don't want my pages to be that real brown brown I don't mind them being brown but I'm trying to stay away from um, it being really dark because I want it to be more um, antique so let me have a gander of what I have in here I tell you what I will do um, is I'm gonna fast forward this and I am gonna pick and rip some papers up you'll see it in fast forward mode but knowing me i'll probably be here for 20 minutes ripping paper up <laughs> so i will see you once i've got all my layout complete and i'll see you once um, i'm happy ripping up my process Right, that's my combination. I think I'm happy with that. I might change this flower um, where it's placed and I cut it in half. So as I did the other day, I'm going to take a picture of a picture. Um, no, I don't want to record it. I want to take a photo. Um, right. And I'm going to go into my phone. There's the photo I've just taken for reference. And I'm going to start gluing. Now, I've popped. Ali gave me this bottle and she said it was much easier. I don't know whether I've got to... I think I've got to snip the top off. Have I? Right, so I'm going to ink it up. Um, because I've got blue on my page already, I think I'm not going to use my green because I, I want to sort of savour that. I'm going to use my gathered twigs instead. I apologise if you can hear the noise. It's upstairs. It's kind of being rowdy. <laughs> right, um, I'm, I'm going to ink the entire thing because I don't know how much I will cut off the bottom on the top and there's something i want to do to the sort of the side of it all right so there's that this one i'm just gonna add a little bit of it i don't want to go crazy on the brown because i don't want to darken it down too much and then these I'm going to keep there I might put a little bit of green edge on them um, and then a little brown on this side right so start us off I'm just going to glue this entire thing down oh it is easier Wow, you can control how much glue do you put it down so you're not wasting any. That's a good idea. And I think it was over a little bit. Glue this down completely flat. 
um, my next piece I'm gonna see where I am with this because it'll give me an idea I want to keep the right and going sideways it'll give me an idea on where and how much I might snip some off this I think it's around about there, I would say. Yeah. My line, I'm lining it up with the music notes. Stick. Why aren't I using print stick? Right, and then I'm going to pop this. Now I sort of want the writing on here, but I want the writing on the side. And there, I've got an idea what I want to do with it, and I want to keep my little jagged edge at the bottom as well. So I'm going to print stick this instead of using my glue. Right, now I have got those flowers I wanted to add in. Oh, clip. No, I'm not going to be able to add them in. Uh, let me see if I can add this white one in. I want to cut this in half. I should be able to add this one in because I did put stick on this, not. I should. Yeah. Let's do this. Now my idea is to make a sort of tuck spot by using by using the papers I've put down rather than You'll see what I mean now. Instead of using, making an actual a, a spot, a tuck spot, I'm going to use the collage papers to do it. So, wasn't completely straight. So, um, I think. The idea was to make a tuck spot here, but I've glued it down. Oh, I might not have if I... I do forget that I'm using print stick and not glue. If I was using the other glue, I wouldn't have been able to do that. I'm just going to raise it up slightly, because what my idea is to make like little tuck spots so I can make like little tabs and pop them in. That's if the glue doesn't dry hoping that doesn't dry if it dries it dries now this side because it's the front of the book um, I'm gonna finish this side with lace now my lace pieces I have over here and because I've got the blue because this side flips open I want to be able to see the lace <gasps> That looks delish. That looks really nice because you can see the pink fluffering. Um, if I zoom you down, you can see the pink just peekering through. So I'm going to pop that there. And then I've got this real thin, it's actually holding everything together. But if I want to use it, and I was thinking of making. I 
I think I'm going to split it up, to be honest. Let me get my scissors. How big is this? It's about there. What I'm trying to decipher... No, it needs lace behind. Uh, I'm going to pop that down there, I think. Yeah, I'm going with that. I kind of like the idea of having the lace peekering through. Oh, my, all my glues are dried up. Bear with me a minute. This is vintage lace. This is just in my stash. I had already in my stash. But I'm thinking of buying some more. I used to buy like a little vintage pack from Etsy. Um, I can't remember what she's called. Vintage something. So I'm thinking about purchasing one of her packs. Oh my word, that looks delicious. Before I go ahead and do that, I want a bit of a... Uh, a tab let me move my ink I want a bit of a tab so nothing's mm. mm -mm -mm. appealing to me I could do tea stained and I could be able to write on it perhaps. Is that too thick? I don't want it too thick. Yeah, that is a little bit too thick for my liking. I don't know whether this idea is going to work. But like I say, you can... I'm glad I'm doing it in this book because I think if I had just gone ahead with my main book it wouldn't have worked as well i'm gonna cut that in half you know rip that in half and i'm just gonna use a section of it i don't know why i'm putting it together because it's going looping over the pages and i'm just gonna stitch these in i'm gonna go on to my machine i don't know what way this goes there is a right and a wrong way Ah, there's the right way. And I'm going to stitch that in, I think, a nice, um, uh, like a, um, like a zigzag, but like a heartbeat stitch. That might be quite nice, but I'm not going to stitch the other side. I don't think so, anyway. Shall I? Yeah, I'm going to stitch that and I'll come back to you once I've stitched it. Okay, so what I've done is I've stitched, I mean, I don't know whether the camera will pick it up, but my stitches, um, let me try on a piece of paper. Actually, let me do on this one. My stitches are going. Like that, almost. And that'd be a cool little bit of a thin Oh, I like the idea of putting different stitches. Right, so I think without me sort of... I don't want to add any more to it because I want to put... Now, I didn't know what one of these was. I want to put a fabric flip on this side. Or shall I put it on the front? Um, shall I put it on the front or that page? My dilemma. Where's that piece gone? This, is this the piece that fitted? Yeah. This is the piece that fitted there. Oh, I don't know what to do now. I like the idea of just putting a little bit of lace and not overwhelming it too much. 
yeah I like that idea and I am put really I am put a lot on there the page speaks for itself I could I suppose put a little tuck on there if I wanted to actually I've just had an idea idea I think what I might do no that doesn't quite go um oh i don't know what to do now because i want my i think i'm going to work on the front page with you all so you'll have two pages today <laughs> right again i'm gonna mess about with the page pages um design my paper and then i'm gonna come back to you because i want the front to be quite have lots of things that sort of you undo and it opens up um, I like the idea of not putting a lot on there and just letting the page speak for itself. I mean, I haven't put a lot on there and it's actually worked quite well. Um, and I'm able to use the whole page. So what I'm going to do before I do anything else, and I'll speed the section up. I'm going to actually write on the page what I like most about it and give me some ideas because my mind's buzzing before I go on to any further. So I'm going to go and do that and I'll uh, fast forward this section. Okay, so I'm back. So what I said was, oh my god, I love the love how this page works. Um, worked out. There's lots of lots to journal on, and maybe I could add ephemera or to paper clips perhaps. But I most definitely need to write in a different pen, as it's not showing up the ink as well. I love these small embroidery lace on the side, and oh, I did plan on making a side tuck from the long piece on the page never mind these ideas i could pick up in my main journal so that's what i popped up there because i love this piece but i was planning on putting a side tuck here um because i think it would have worked really well and i don't know if it will tuck in now because i've glued it down oh does a little side suppose and I'm just gonna since that does tuck in I'm just gonna write on the back um so I've just put side tag most definitely works and I'm gonna pop that in there like so I might add a little bit of lace um got this bit of fabric I just want it to I almost just want it on the side I do want to tear it a little bit so I want it just there I'm gonna stitch this up and I'll be back once I've stitched it up I have done a little uh, fabric it works really well actually but I've covered up the right in. So I'm just gonna leave the threads down below and I'm just gonna pop this on. But before I do, I'm gonna ink this up just a little bit with brown. Like I said, I don't want everything to be quite dark. So I really just wanna pick up where I want it to be brown. That's probably enough of my brown. And I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna use the old fashioned prick stick, I think. and I'm going to pop that just there and then I'm going to write on this and not cover it up right so side tuck most definitely most definitely 
love the effect. And like I say, if you make one of these up, you can put your own ideas and own spin on it if you wanted to. I'm just going to cut my thread down a little bit because I don't want it dangling that much. And then I'm going to pop it in there. And that is that page, I would say, done. And normally I would have done the tuck here. Now, because I would have made the tuck there, say, for example, um, I might have... I might have just added a touch of lace. I was going to do the front, but never mind. I don't want to... Um, I think I'm going to cut that down because I don't want it quite... I don't want it as... I know this is only small, but I don't want it this... This wide, I want it smaller. That's better. Um, I'm going to do a half on, and then I'm just going to put the other half at the top. Okay, so I'm going to go this way with that one. Okay, and then up the top, I oh, didn't go anything. There you go. And then up the top, see how the lace is going that way? Well, I'm going to push the top bit going the other way. So I'm just going to pop that there like so and that would be this page done yeah I kind of like the effect of that because look how the pages are building up I love the lace edging and I love seeing the lace but I definitely need to do a different ink and then if I would like I say if I wanted to put like an alter paper clip I can but I love this little tuck spot here I think it's just small enough to appear on the side and it's small enough also to put a little message inside for myself. So yeah, I'm getting to, um, on with it now, I'm really getting into this journal. Um, I think it will be absolutely amazing once it's finished and it will definitely give me some ideas on what I can do for the main journal. Um, so I think my next page, I'm debating on whether to do the front page because I have some ideas for that or whether to do the inside of the page. I mean this fits perfectly but I don't want it blue on blue, I kind of want it a bit different so they sort of balance within colour. So I think the next page for me will be the front. Um, please like this video, I'd love it if you did. And let me know your thoughts below on um, what I could add a bit differently if you was to add anything. Um, is there a particular piece of um, the way I've done it, a particular thing that, that would, I don't know, that speaks out to you? Is there something you're going to try? I would love to know. Um, and yeah, I love, I love how this page is working out absolutely love it so thank you for coming on this journey with me and um yeah thank you for everybody for all your wonderful feedback it's been absolutely amazing and uh i'm looking forward to what part are we on four uh three or four so i will love and leave you all till then have a lovely uh week or weekend and i will speak to you all in my next video take care guys bye for now